Hello everybody, it's Velvet the Lion here. Today we're going to be exploring another random casino on the strip. This time, we're going to be doing the Cosmopolitan. But, um, as you can tell, we're not in the Cosmopolitan. This is Crystal's. It's a shopping center. I'm just in it right now because I don't want to go outside. It's too gosh darn hot out here. I did record this place for like 10 seconds in that one vlog I did back when I was still Jaggy the Jaguar. Anyways, let's get out of here. Because, you know, we're not doing crystals, we're doing the Cosmopolitan. A few days ago, we had Hurricane Hillary come, you know, over the whole city. So, for like a few days, it was raining. And there was humidity, and it wasn't scorching hot. It was actually tolerable to go outside. But, as you can tell, that's passed. And now it's scorching hot again. I can't wait for summer to be over. So guys, we got this new cool outdoor shopping center. Um, what should be one, one of the places we should put in it? Oh, you know, a Ross. All right, y'all, here it is, the Cosmopolitan. Where's the Wandapolitan? Today, we're not only gonna be trying out this casino, but we're gonna be doing something that I haven't done since the Luxor video. We're actually gonna go to its buffet, if it's still open. Hopefully, because a lot of buffets nowadays close really early, which sucks. I hope they're open. Thanks to its location, when I was young, I used to think this whole place was part of city center until I learned that it's not. All right, time to open the door and feel cold. Yay! Macoo! Oh, sweet, they got goldfish. That was my favorite childhood snack. This place is so massive because they had to put it in such a tight space in between two other casinos that they had to put it into four different floors. The uh, first one is their casino, the lobby. Second is like a bunch of shops and restaurants. Number three is more restaurants. And then number four is the conference center. And number two is where we're at. First, before we actually do a tour of this place, we're gonna go to their buffet. Cause I'm gonna have them for dinner, even though it's brunch. So you know how um, brunch is the combination of lunch and breakfast? What would the combination of breakfast and dinner be called? Breck dinner? Brecker? Brenner? I don't know. You guys tell me. This place has the best name for a restaurant ever. Egg slot. Oh boy, pooping time. Just trying to find the buffet right now. I don't know where it is. I do know that they put it in like some weird spot. It's like away from the main area. Just trying to find it. Ooh, I like their dog. Cute dog. Okay, I found how, how to get there. Over here, the Wicked Spoon Buffet. Look at all these weird do not disturb poster things. Door hangers. Who even uses these? Giants? To get to the buffet, you have to go through this like cool looking corridor. Very nice looking, I like it. Over here, I think there's just supposed to be some of their conference centers. Like there's a door leading to a room right here and then another one and a bunch of like weird looking art. For some reason, there's like a lot of references to glass slippers and stuff. I don't know why, maybe that's just part of their image. Leaked image of the final episode of B Stars. Truth be told, I've never actually gone to this buffet before. I've heard it's really good, so can't wait to check it out. I hope it's good. Dogi, 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 Dogi. Oh my God! There it is. There it is, you guys. Is it open? Is it open? Please tell me it's open. It's open, but there's a long line. No. Waiting in the line, waiting in the line. Gonna get lots of food today. All right, finally just got my seat. Uh, apparently. Ah. Uh, anyways, I, I got my seat, and apparently they give you this big water bottle as like a drink, so you can like pour it right there. I guess I'll give you guys a tour of the place. Oh, hello. Um, guys, this buffet is false advertising. My table did not come with any wicked spoons. What the heck? This whole place actually kind of has like a decent size for what it is, so I guess I'll give you guys a tour. So there's where they make your eggs and stuff. You got mashed potatoes, um, stuff. 
Oh, check out that. That looks really good. Ooh, I like that. You got your bread and stuff, and then you got your fruits and vegetables, some seafood and meats. There's your, I forgot what they call these. Wicked Italian chopped salad. I've never actually seen something like this before. So of course you also got uh, other little salads. That's cute. This one's called Angry Mac and Cheese. Ooh. Then there's your carving station. That's pretty cool. Shrimp and grits, uh, some more pastas. And since it's brunch, you got pancakes and actually really good looking French toast. The item I really love to get every time I was at a buffet when I was young, pizza, some eggs. Um, apparently this one's called that and some other stuff. And then over here, if I can see it, crab legs, nice. We also got some stuff to go with your crab legs. Got some butter, some lemons, uh, fortune cookies, and some Asian food, seafood, sushi, all that good stuff. Yeah, oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. This is their whole like dessert area. You got uh, chocolate bread pudding and cobblers. All the good stuff, cookies. Rice Krispie treats with fruity pebbles on them. Muffins, little cake things, pastries, coconut macaroon. Those aren't macaroons, are they? Unless that's actually what they're called, and I'm an idiot. Ooh, you got little taffies. That's I've never seen that before in a buffet. Little lava cakes. And then you got your ice cream bar. Stuff to top your ice cream with. Ooh, licorice. Kind of thing I've never seen in a buffet. And here's the rest. Nice. Something I noticed throughout the buffet is that they have these little TVs that gives you the description of different food items in case you're too dumb to know what they are. All right, so I decided my first plate should be um, a bunch of like Asian food that they have. And honestly, I can't wait to eat it. It all looks pretty good, pretty decent. So uh, anyways, let's try this out. <laughs> oh, he absolutely demolished everything. I, I just couldn't help myself. Everything was so good. <laughs> I was going to record myself eating, but I just couldn't stop. There was so much good food. <laughs> I'm so full. I ate like, I don't know how much I did. I'm a fat ass American. <laughs> I uh, haven't even eaten their dessert yet. Everything was so good. Like every, nearly every food item here was actually really good. I, mean, I still need to try out their dessert. I guess, I guess we'll just see what they got. Oh my god. Oh look, they got tiramisu. Oh, 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 oh no. Uh, uh oh, oh, I'm, de I'm destroying this thing. Come on. Yay. Oh, look, here's that gluten free cookie, but there's no like tonsils. Do I just grab it? I, I, I guess I'll just grab it. The wildest looking utensil I've ever seen. Alright, here I go. Oh, I should probably stop eating and just leave now. Oh man. Okay, I give this place um, 10 out of 10. You did good, Cosmopolitan. Uh, Alright, Wicked Spoon Buffet. Probably gained 15 pounds from this place, but you know what? It's worth it. 
I'm probably not even going to be hungry enough to eat for the next two days, but you know what? It's worth it. In my Treasure Island video, when I said that I was on a diet, um, I kind of meant I was eating in moderation. You know, like, not eating a lot. But, um, yeah, I think that buffet kind of destroyed that diet. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys do not understand how much I ate. I probably gained like 100 pounds just from that. It was so good. Back in the doggy area, one of these doggies is going to get a free boop. Hmm. 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 Correct is a mistake. Oh my god, is that a real T-Rex skull? Oh my god. Oh god, I forgot. This is goes over to where all the restaurants are. Oh, I don't think I can take the smell of food anymore. Oh, God. Oh, I gotta get out of here. So this area is like one big food hall. It's got like a billion restaurants over here. Um, it's like a noodles and tacos place. You got shakes and buns. Um, block 16, which has like a bunch of little like fast food places. They got a really fluffy doggo. They got this thing called the Marquee, which is like their nightclub and day club. I've never been to a nightclub before, but I can probably presume it's pretty cool. And then check this out. This big ass chandelier goes all the way down there. And if you notice, there's an entire bar area and lounge within the chandelier. Look how awesome that is. I'd love to be in there. But then again, I'm not 21 yet, so can't get in there, unfortunately. Sorry. They also have a lot of shops here, you know, for your consuming pleasure. The juice standard, uh, I think that's like a juicery place. And then we got Momo. you. Going up. So right here, this is kind of like their, um, lounging area you know like it's like rest and relax and stuff they got this place Halio or Jalio I don't know seems pretty cool lots of red going on you got blue ribbon which is like another one of the hundred restaurants in this place and between that and this elevator you might notice something over here so once you go through this hallway that's like filled to the brim with like record labels and stuff you come across this place it's called secret pizza it's like a little pizzeria place it's kind of cool never had it before but I just ate at a buffet so no thank you don't buy this record hmm looks like somebody must have already bought it for this place oh well this is a really cool looking art piece. It's all just wires. The literal definition of get connected. This is probably one of the coolest looking restaurants. It's called Stk. You guys want to go to Stk? Yo, no way. They turned that one video game into a restaurant. That's so cool. Here's a cool looking view of city center. Seems like they're working on this wall right here. Probably adding more to it or something. I don't know. Over here, you just got a long hallway full of conference center rooms. Then all the way over there is a lone violin. You got a hidden step-by-step -step guide on how to make a bow. Nice. Red plate. Imagine you go in here and they serve you food on a blue plate or something. Also, here's Beauty in Essex. What's funny about this place is that from the inside, it looks like some kind of like antique pawn shop. But in reality, once you go past that, it's actually another restaurant. That's funny. Hmm. Queen of it, excuse me? That can mean two different things. And now it is time to go down into the casino. Milk. Milk. You guys probably can't even see that, but it says milk. Here's more of that chandelier. You actually go under it on this escalator right here. Ooh, nice. And the place is literally called the chandelier. Not even kidding you. It's 
nice. Something I've noticed about the Cosmopolitan is that some of their like restaurants and bars and lounges will be disguised as like other places. So here it's like a this place is like a barber barber shop, right? Nah. It's a bar. Wait, I just looked at it. It's like an actual barber shop, but you can have like cocktails in it. That is weird. Also a kind of interesting concept if you ask me. But wait, I just looked again and this barbershop place actually extends all the way over here. So, hmm, it's pretty suspicious if you ask me. And that's what I mean about the Cosmopolitan. There's like a lot of secrets in it. Like that secret pizza place that I just showed you. Beauty and Essex having that like lounge area past their pawn shop. It is crazy. And that's kind of what makes this whole place unique, you know? Cosmopolitan has two towers. Uh, this is the one that heads to the Boulevard Tower, which is their like thin, tall one that heads, you know, like faces towards the strip. And then the other one is the Chelsea Tower, which is the big, long one. And it has very good views of the Bellagio's Fountain, so there's that. So as far as I know, this place used to be owned by the Blackstone Group because I guess they were involved with like a lot of banks with, when they were like building this or something. But not too long ago, MGM Resorts purchased it. So now it's owned by them. Their slot club or rewards club is called the Identity, but I guess next year they're merging that with MGM Rewards. So there's that. Click Bar and Lounge. I have nothing to say about this. Just looks cool. So I think over here, this is supposed to be like their little gift shop, Vitals. Looks pretty cool, just gonna go in it real quick. Oh my gosh, a lion. And then over here is their lobby area. And there's their lobby bar. What is happening over here? Uh... Uh, I am very confused. What the heck did I just walk myself into? Okay. They're inside the walls, guys. They're inside the walls. Am I allowed to even show this on YouTube? I probably, probably not. I'm just gonna go over here. Lounge number 50, the autograph lounge. Can you get autographs from celebrities there? And then over here, this is like their um, taxi, Uber, pickup, whatever. Not gonna go out there. And then right here is where you enter the shell, the, the shell, the seashells by the seashore tower, the Chelsea Tower. That's a big thumper. Does this phone actually work? Nope. OPM, not to be confused with OPM at Caesars Palace. The fanciest looking restroom I've ever seen, oh my god. The Bean. You guys want to go to the bean they also have the nicest high limit room i've ever seen wow and then over here this is where you sign up for identity but unfortunately like i said earlier in the video they're merging with mgm rewards and it's going to become mgm rewards so rip see more proof that they're owned by mgm now bet mgm uh oh hope they don't do anything bad to this place this MGM here does not have the best reputation. Why are you looking at me like that? And then their Starbucks over here has a pretty cool view of the strip. And by the strip, I mean Planet Hollywood. I'm so confused. This door says it's not an exit, but if you look up, it says exit. Make up your gosh darn mind. You got another big old slipper here. I'm on the second floor and there's another slipper. What is with this place and slippers? Hmm. Going back to this place, I just realized I think that's supposed to be a Z and not some weird symbol. So that's actually supposed to say Max Zoo. All right, dry bar, a bar that is dry. No. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that garbage out there. I'll just go the other way. Who the heck is this guy? Hmm. Deserves a boop, anyways. So there you have it, that's the Cosmopolitan. If they don't serve Cosmopolitans here, then this is automatically a bad resort.
Anyways, I'm out. Bye.